Good morning, guys. I'm Jim Hicks with RCS Sports, and welcome to the VIP Video Edition. And we're going to get right into the 5-8 second-round playoffs, which technically started last night with Brian and Brenham, but the bulk of all the rest of the games, except for one, will take place tonight. Uh, within the next 24 hours, we can say that. And once again, hey, you can go get your drink, your coffee, whatever you drink, get your bracket. And let's roll down this right side. One game at the top is going to take place on Saturday. And that's Yates versus Pflugerville Connolly. Why the hell that game take place on Saturday? I'll tell you why real quick. Both coaches, you know Greg Wise at, at Yates High School, he always is known to flip for the earlier day. That way it gives the team one less day of practice. So Pflugerville Connolly, they call themselves with the counter move, and they, were, they, they surprised Greg and saying, hey, look, we're not going to flip you Friday versus Thursday. If you're going to pick and flip for Thursday, we're going to flip for Saturday. And so they flipped, of course. Flukerville Cunningham won the flip, and that's how the game ended up being on Saturday. So that's real interesting on that. That'll take place Saturday at 12 noon over at Brian Ruther High School. Now let's get to the Friday games. Tumball Memorial versus Huntsville. That game will take place Friday night. They flipped home and home. The only team in the brackets that used the home and home. That's the old school method. Hey, wasn't so much fire going on in the city. I swear I go over to Tumball Memorial and check that game out. Just on the strength of them having the gall to say, let's go home and home with it. That should be a real intriguing game. Tumball Memorial, I'm taking them in that game. You guys mark that down. They're going to roll, roll right through Huntsville. Ridgepoint and Humble High School. You talking about a game. The way Ridgepoint was a fourth seed. They shocked the heck out of Rosenberg Terry. Rolled them by 20-something points in the first round. My man Amir Smith, my man Kyle Brown, they both got it in and props to you guys for the big win in the first round. However, this humble team, Brandon Joseph, Kyle Brown, he knows you rank 20 slots ahead of him. And I'm telling you, this is put up a shut up. Ain't, I don't want ain't no such thing. It's a bad game in the big game. Now, I'm going to sip my mug, and I'm going to give you my Kermit face on that. Now, next game, Bush versus Beaumont Central. Hey, man, rematch. Hoops giving classic, baby. That, that took place. Beaumont, that's, that game, it was an eight-point spread, but it felt like a 20-point spread. And I don't, you know, if you Bush, you can say, well, hey, we closed the gap, made it close down the end, use that as motivation. Or if you Beaumont Central, you can say, man, look, we were playing without three, two or three football guys. Let's go on and, and match the gas. We got another gear that they, they haven't seen yet. That is a really, really intriguing game because one of these teams, without question, whoever lose this game, they could very well have went to state if they win another division of the, of the, of the portion of the, of the state. So that's, I mean, it's really, really sad. It's bittersweet. That game will take place, of course, at Crosby High School. At seven at seven thirty p.m. tonight, uh, Waco University in Madison. Last week I told you guys Madison was my dog horse. These guys have the ability to roll right to the regional tournament. Yes, they have the ability. You know why? Because they have the only guy in this five A region that can totally dominate a game without taking a shot, and that's Chris Harris. He's the average top unsigned senior. He's six foot ten. If you ask John Yeary, we're gonna tell you he's seven foot tall. But he's six foot ten, but and he's long. And one thing about it, he's playing a good brand of basketball. Madison have their point guard back right now, and that is very, very and that's that has been nothing but productive for this team. Jeremiah Gambrell. Remember that. He's tiny, he looks tiny, he doesn't pass the eye test, but let me leave him open and watch what happens. This guy here is known for getting guys put on the bench. He had two or three jumpers. What your coach going to do? Sub you out and put you on the bench because you're not in on it. Remember that game? That's a good one to watch. Beaumont, Ozan, and Elkins. Oh, my goodness. Man, that game there is going to be at Baytown League College at 7 p.m. tonight. That's going to be awesome. Jared Hunter, has, I know he has been waiting on this game all season long. Understand something. This Beaumont, Ozan team, they beat Beaumont Central. They beat uh, Dallas Kimball. They beat Hawker Heights. They beat the New Orleans Walker team from out of Louisiana. And last but not least, they beat North Shore. This Beaumont Ozan team, 
They know what they are trying to get every possession. And you're talking about guard play? Elkins is supreme guard play. I love, I love these guys over at Elkins. But at the same time, they probably have not seen a tandem of guards all season long like Bowman Ozan guards. These guys, they're very seasoned. I'm telling you now, don't let the smooth taste fool you in regard to this Bowman Ozan game. So now, last night I need C.E. King and Thurgood Marshall. Oh, man, that is a game if you ever seen one. Their good Marsha is the tallest team in the area in 5A. They are tall, but however, I think the C. King has a little bit more of an edge in the chemistry department. And this game here will take place at Phillips Fieldhouse at 8 p.m. So if you really want to double down and watch a 6 o'clock or a 7 o'clock game, watch a couple of quarters, something like the North Shore and Clear Creek and, si uh, and Clear Creek game, it's going to be at Deer Park that's only about five miles away. You can catch that and then leave and catch the half, well, and catch half the second half of this Thurgood Marshall and C.K. game. Gilbert Thomas, let me tell you something. Thurgood Marshall has a guy named, named John, uh, I think John's last name is, is Williams. John Williams, he's about, he was six foot four last year, named six eight. This kid right here, you would have to shut him down and punish them. If you are, you are a top 10 player in the area, this is the time to prove it. Because there are some people that's doubting and think that you're a little bit overrated. I'm taking the heat for you. I'm taking all the bullets. I, I need to walk around with a bulletproof vest. I done took so many slugs for you, Gibber. This is your night tonight, baby. Hey, third good Marshall, C. King. That's a good pick em right there. It's going to be good. I, and, that's, and that game right there pretty much wraps up the regional, region three, 5A matchups. And, uh, hey, I can't wait till tonight, guys. Tick tock. Let me go. Hey, remember that Kermit face about this game earlier. I'm going to finish drinking my mug. And I'll see you guys later on. Jim Hicks, RCS Sports. Log into the VIP News and catch the rest.